And the last little job for us to do on this experiment sheet, if you look at the front there, is we are going to put two separate inputs into the gate and see what the result gives us. This NAND gate is actually a little thinking device. So here we go. There's our two inputs of the gate are going to pin 1 and pin 2 and they're going to data switches. I've got them on opposite ends over here. And the output is going to an LED. Let's switch on, see what happens. Now at the moment no LED, uh, the LED is actually just staying there on and uh, that's because we have two inputs here at low and low. That's what the NAND gate does. Now let's say we don't know anything about this. There are four different ways of putting an input in because we've got low and low that gives us a high and then we have low high also gives us a high. If you go high low also high. So you might think this is a waste of time. All the time, <laughs> just the LED is on. Well, actually, it's the last special case. It is the one special case for an AND type of gate where you have the inputs are 1 and 1, on and on, high and high, yes and yes, whatever you call it. That is the only way to turn the LED off. What does this mean? Well, it could be controlling a drink machine. So, for example, uh, one switch could be, have you put the money in? And the other switch could be, has a drink been selected? And if you've got the money in and the drink is selected, then it means you are not blocked from pouring. But if one of the things is missing, or both things are missing, then it means red light, hey, don't, uh, don't dispense a drink yet. There you are.